Yes, blessed love, my brothers and sisters. I hope you've had an excellent break, four days off and what have you. Big up all those that uh, have just come off of the plantation. Now, my brothers and sisters, hmm, do you guys remember the Peter Bailey debacle? You remember that? You remember Dardes TV and the interview? Do you remember uh, the fever with which certain people like Black Olive and, and different people were trying to defend Peter Bailey? Do you guys remember that? Do you remember uh, the interview with Dardes where... Uh, Peter Bailey is categorically denying that any of the accusations that were put forward by our victim, the victim that approached us, could ever have been true because he's not that type of guy. That Brixton knows him and they know what his badness is all about and it definitely ain't that. You remember that, guys? Yeah? I remember it. Because we have invited Dardes TV uh, and Black Olive to join the live on Friday, Afua Speaks Community Conversations on YouTube at 9 p.m. because uh, the whistleblower would like to have a word with them as well as everybody else in the community. This has been specifically asked for. My brothers and sisters, you see when certain people do what they do, yeah, uh, and then have the audacity to go onto a public platform and publicly deny certain things they have to really mind what they're doing when i tell you that we work in the background when i tell you that there's some evidence that we don't put out there for different reasons police cases whatever yeah lots of different reasons why we might highlight somebody in order to draw in more victims but we don't always give out the evidence that we have that's what you people really really need to understand so when everyone's going hey, where's the evidence it's not for you the appeal is not for you to question evidence. It's for more victims to come forward because we are always absolutely sure that this person is guilty. Hmm? It's just a matter of time, you know. You see, when you are doing negativity to that level, there's a, there's a bitch called karma. That's all I've got to say. There is a, a thing called karma that will come and knock your door. Now, my brothers and sisters, you guys need to share, share and share this some more. Everybody in Brixton needs to be on that live on Friday to listen to what this whistleblower has to say. And this whistleblower is not random. Hmm? They are not random. This is somebody who absolutely knows what they are talking about. Somebody, what do they say? Who feels it knows it. Peter Bailey, I'm inviting you on as well because you absolutely need to answer to the rest of us you denied it my brothers and sisters do not miss afua speaks community conversations at 9 p.m on youtube on friday let me tell you this is going to be an absolute equalizer do you guys remember the big thing you remember the debacle with peter bailey think back and if you don't know it and you haven't seen it go back on my youtube go back uh, here on Instagram and look at the post about him and follow that through on YouTube. Look at Dardes TV and his interview on there uh, about what I highlighted on the channel. Go back before Friday because when you fully understand it and you fully understand what took place, the denials, the, the backlash of people that had a lot to say about me and a lot of uh, defending to do about Peter, ba Peter Bailey, then Friday will become even more explosive for you because let me tell you my brothers and sisters I had a five and a half hour conversation with this individual and I'm talking in one stretch hmm brothers and sisters I will see you there on Friday the other thing that I need to clear up is this lefty thing that could be a debacle but it's not it's not got there yet but I really really need to put the record straight on the whole lefty thing which I highlighted last week partially highlighted last week actually. So there's lots to talk about, my brothers and sisters. I am going to find it very interesting to hear if Dardes TV especially takes, uh, keeps his honour and eats his words, keeps his honour and eats his words, because he did actually say, if I'm not mistaken, that if certain things were found to be uh, inexcusable or hard to deny 
or even a court case or whatever he was saying at the time that he would actually apologize and he would move to Peter over it. That I think that it was words along those lines. I've probably, I'm paraphrasing before everyone jumps up and says, oh, he didn't say that and misses the point, but it was words to that effect. Dardes TV, you need to come on because you've, you've been shouting a lot and I want, I'm going to see if you're going to be shouting on the back of the testimony on Friday, because like I said, the whistleblower has expressly asked me to, to bring these people to the fore, to hear what they have to say. Brothers and sisters, say nothing, say no more. I will see you on Friday. Peter Bailey, you're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar.